Hey everyone, Jared here. And today, this video is going to be the start of a new series that I'm going to run. These videos will be very random when they're released. Okay, no set release. You may see them once a week. You may see them more than once a week. You may not see one for a month. So to start with, I'm going to call them shop shorts. Now, what are they going to be? They're going to be anything that I think does not warrant a long, normal release video. Now, it could be something as simple as unboxing a tool or something new that I bought for my shop. It could be a full review. It might be a short tip or trick that I think is worth sharing. But, but once again, it's things that are not going to be a very long video. My goal is going to be to try to keep these under five minutes and really maybe down closer to like the two or three minute range. Just something that is short and quick, simple to put out and simple for you guys to watch and digest. Not something you're gonna have to sit down and take a really long time to watch. So today, the first episode is going to be about a new shop back I bought. So this is rigid six horsepower 14 gallon shop vac well they call their nxt next i'm guessing it means but i did not buy this from the store i purchased this online because for only ten dollars more than what this sells for in the store it came with a free car detailing kit that sells for thirty dollars now that car detailing kit includes another hose that goes down two inch and a quarter and also includes uh, nozzles, uh, flexible nozzles, stuff like that, things for detailing car, cars. But it also comes with the standard two and a half inch hose, the wands and everything that this shop vac normally comes with. So for only $10 more, I thought it was worth the purchase. So. Let's open this guy up. We're just going to open it up. I'm going to show you everything that's in it. And then this video is really going to be basically a wrap. Nothing more, uh, nothing less. Just a nice, quick, short video that I could show this to you guys. And I will put a link to this down in the description if this looks like something that you would uh, like to have. So here is the car detailing hose. And you can see that obviously it necks down to uh, you know pretty small. That's the inch and a quarter in. This is their standard two and a half inch hose. Locking ends, okay? So it locks on to both the wands and the hose, or I'm sorry, and the vacuum so you can pull on it and it does not pop up. One wand. Coupler, it looks like. Another wand. Regular floor. Here is one of the car detailing pieces. Another one, you could tell, small. And this one is flexible. So this one's meant to get down between the seat and get into places you can't get to. It's like a holder bracket, probably snap on the vacuum. Wider two and a half inch piece. And a wet two and a half inch. It's got a little rubber squeegee on there. What's funny is I just want to start to uh, start to be upset because I was wondering where the rest of my stuff was, but it's inside. Got the filter, and just as a little side note, I always run these. I also purchased the bags for this. I run these with a bag because I hate dumping out the dust and powder that I, you know, that I sweep up. I'd rather just pull a bag out and just pitch that entire bag. For me, it's easier, it keeps this clean, and gives me double filtration, so I'm not sucking stuff, plugging this up or risking blowing it through the motor. Car brush, 
stiff, car brush soft, dashes, door panels, stuff like that. Adapter, manual, warranty card, and the rest of the stuff for this. Brackets for the casters. sure what those are and then the handle. Let me snap this together real quick and uh, then we'll show it off fully assembled. Okay, so here's one of the reasons I purchased this vacuum is I'm actually going to pair it with my little mini cyclone here. I have this mounted to a nice heavy duty bucket. It's actually a chlorine, pool chlorine bucket. But my other vacuum was, uh, it's considerably taller. And I would like to take this and mount this maybe above it. Uh, not real sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to build some type of a some type of a cart for both of these, so this is not separate and falling over when I pull it on the hose and stuff like that. So this needs to be, you know, kind of mounted somewhere. Uh, and rather than building its own cart, I think I'd rather just have it attached to the vacuum. So I like the short, stout, fat version of this vacuum or the form factor, so that's one of the reasons I bought it. And I flat out like some of their attachments better than I do my True Shop vac. But thank you guys, I really appreciate it. I hope you look forward to more Shop Shorts. If you have any ideas or would like to see something, please drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see. But I hope to bring out a whole lot more of these short little videos in the upcoming future. And I will also do a build video and show you how I end up incorporating these two onto a platform or a card of some sort in the future. Thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up and like it. Hit the subscribe button, bell notification to be notified of upcoming videos. And as always, have a great rest of your day.